Good morning. Good morning. We're off. We're off. Goodbye, Ocean Grove. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. What do you feel about Ocean Grove overall? It was very nice. I think we'd go back again. Yeah. Uh, only sure. at the Passport America rate, though. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'd pay $80 a night or $90 it's a night. Yeah. It's $99 a night. Yeah. Plus $4 for electric. Yeah. Plus $4 for cable. And that's per day. Which we don't have cable. Yeah. But the uh, live chat just was done. We did it all last night. and It was fun talking with everybody. We kept it short. Heidi had me under tight restrictions. And he failed. And we still went over <laughs> probably about 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Uh, we're heading to Rose Bay RV Resort in Port Orange, Florida, which is just right outside of Daytona. And I think uh, I think it'll be a nice area. I hope. And we're going to be there for three weeks. So that's going to be the longest stay that we've had since we left Paradise Lake. Yeah. So we'll, t we'll give you an update later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. After a week and a half, we'll be pulling Some each other's places. hairs out. Some places are okay. I mean, we'll be okay. And then other places won't be. Yeah. For the stay, the length. Yeah, yeah. You know, if somebody said last night a week's eight enough for mile. them, and turn somebody right. else said two weeks. Right. In one half mile, turn right on State Road um, 206. We loved our campsite back at uh, Orange Grove. Ocean Grove. Ocean Grove. Um, definitely, definitely. We even took precaution. You have to take precaution for ants. Oh. We, we have ants. I'm sure we have ants in the RV somewhere because they were all over the black tank hose. They I were, swept up two this morning hose, I should say. when I swept the floor. They were all over the power cord. They were running across the Turn bumper. Turn right at the traffic light. Oh, thank you. They're running across the bumper uh, and up on the roof of the RV. Some of them were trying to get into the vent, the... Uh, Max air vent, which they probably did. Which they could. Uh, we don't see any. We, okay, how many have we seen inside the RV? Four miles. Five. Turn maybe. left on yeah. US one. I seen two this morning when I, my little pile that I swept up of sand had a couple in them. I'm like, oh no. Yeah. But yeah. that's a problem you deal with down here, for sure. It would have been nice if we would have caught a ship here on this drawbridge. The intercoaster waterway. And I don't think Heidi's ever, have you ever seen a drawbridge yeah. in, in operation? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a couple really of cool. them. I, there's one in Florida, well, maybe they replaced it, but I knew there used to be one in Florida when we were kids that was a swing bridge. It would swing out and when it go up. I wonder if th that one is in operation because the water looks so shallow. <laughs> yeah, it does look shallow. <laughs> But anyways, the ants, they were sugar ants, um, and there was a lot of them. Um, we spread some stuff all around the RV when we got there, and we actually saw ants within five minutes of spreading it out. We saw ants carrying the stuff that we spread out, but we needed to do more for the hose. So I, I think we're going to have to, like, uh, I don't know, baking soda or something, I don't know, something on the hoses and the power cords going up to the RV. Now the thing is, is I could have supported the power hose uh, completely to where it wouldn't have been on the ground at all, but I thought, ah, I'm not worried about it. It shouldn't be too bad because I've been doing that every campground that we've been going to, and uh, or at least trying if, if I can do that. And it, it hasn't really made a difference, but in this case, it would have made a difference. And then the sewer hose, we'll, we'll have to pay attention to that. Um, so I have no doubt that the uh, RV has some sort of ants on it. I got up on the roof with the leaf blower. I cleaned out the gutters. Uh, there was standing water up there because the gutters had leaves and debris in them. So that was uh, something that I think you guys should pay attention to. Um, we also saw that we have to do a little bit on our slide roof there's it's coming up slightly in a couple of areas that's another big bonus of having awning toppers sure. uh, it's you know the, the roof hardly sees any water except when it's raining really hard and maybe blowing it might get up there uh, other than that we don't ever see any water uh, you know on that 
apart and there's a couple spots that I think if it did see water you know it might it might be a slight issue but I'm very happy I, I think slide toppers should be standard on our RV I don't think it should be an option and I know that I think there was a video that was posted the other day and somebody said um, that, that they're an unnecessary you know they're not needed but listen it helps with the heat it's not beating down on that slide and you know like in our case we're sitting inside the slide so the heat that's on the roof even though it's an insulated roof um, it's not as thick as the roof that's in the RV in the you know the main section in half a mile in one half, half mile on US turn one. left on US 1 and both of these ladies no I'm not going US 1 so the uh, awning topper you know provides shade it provides shade up there now, don't get me wrong you got to clean them and they hold water I don't care if they hold water it, it doesn't make a difference if they hold water what's the worst thing that can happen if they hold water you know it's not coming in the slide when you're pulling it in number one number two so what if it's sitting on there it's still it's Turn another left, layer the traffic light um, it's another layer of uh, protection on the roof that the water isn't on the roof directly or I don't know how to say Turn it not left the, roof, on US the, one. the slide top you know the actual uh, rubber roof on the slider it's I, I just don't uh, I mean that was their thing they said oh it held water yeah they do hold water and sure you can do the one miles um, Turn left to I-95 South Fort Miami. <laughs> they're both going to Miami. Railroad <laughs> they, I mean, sure, they, they're going to say, oh, you can put a beach ball in there, and uh, you could, you know, there's little things that you, pipes, people make PVC pipe TPs that go up in there. Uh, you don't need any of that. Yeah, I, there's, It's not needed. It's Just let it do what it's going to do. When we first got it, I was the same way. I'm like, I don't know how to keep that yeah, water off miles. there. Turn left on I-95 South. When it comes down to it, there's no reason, there's no need. Wow, these are a little bit rougher than I thought. Yeah, you can see that truck up there. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. Well, anyway, we'll pick it up. Yeah. Maybe once we get there, it looks like police is at the... Yeah, there's lots of cops up ahead. That's another good ways feature. Best sign ever. So we don't have to step in it. It's awesome. Well, we made it to the park. It was a nice, easy drive. We stopped at Bucky's. We got a little bit of food action there. And uh, yeah, we're just checking in. We just pulled past the entrance away. It says no parking. Well, we're not parked. We we are stopped, but we're not parked. So um, this area so far looks nice, which of course we'll talk about that. We have three weeks here. Uh, everything we passed it, it's accessible by bike um, nice big swimming pool over there lots of motorcyces this is that October biketoberfest sorry biketoberfest and we there's so many bikes I, I can't even count them so what I'm guessing is we're going to be going down this row here uh, we'll be making a left and we're, our sights on the left uh, I don't know that for sure that's kind of what we were told but being told by thousand trails and actually getting a site assigned by the uh, office at the campground that's two different things so looks like Heidi's wandering back we'll get you to our site and talk about it so this is the first time this has ever happened um, we got our site assignment everything's printed out talks about our you know when we arrive and all that and <laughs> Somebody's at our site, and I mean, they're like, they don't look like they're going anywhere. Uh, I don't, there's nobody at the at the vehicles. Uh, the, I mean, just that's <laughs> the craziest thing I've ever seen. That is hilarious. So uh, we called the office, and there, everybody here is really nice. Um, so the lady in the office says. Oh, I'll, I'll, let me call you back. I got to get somebody out there. And uh, this guy in the golf cart showed up right away. So, I, we've never had this happen before ever. We've never seen a site that was double booked, and we're not early. I mean, it's noon, and check in was when? Check out is eleven. Oh, check out's eleven. And check in's at noon. Yeah, so we're we're here. Um, I've, it's kind of odd. So, I, 
guess this, these things can happen. I don't want to... It would be kind of funny, to tell you the truth. You know, this guy, wherever he may be, I don't think he's at this camper. Okay, so we ran into our first situation with the beach lane levelers and our wheel chalks. Actually, this is second time. Yeah, this is the second time. The last time, we have some wheel chalks that we carry with us that we use the, uh, what's that called? The, oh, those rubber, those rubber, um, wheel, you know, the, the like you see at Harbor Freight, their big wheel chalks are like $30 a piece. We use those for emergency reasons in the truck um, if we lose a drive shaft or something uh, and our parking brakes aren't working. But we also use them sometimes in this situation. So let me show you what this situation is. Whenever you have uh, no clearance in between the tires for the wheel chocks, you can put just regular wheel chocks on the outside. Or you can do like this. And again, I talked about these in the past, how I put these together. And I, uh, you just turn them sideways and it clears that piece down there. So I had people ask me and say, well, what do you do if you have these kind of wheel chocks and you're using the, the, the drive up on levelers, the beach lane levelers, um, this is what I do. Or again, I use a, a traditional wheel chalk um, if I can't get this in there, but most of the time we can do it this way. So make sure we go, you go back and check out my video where uh, I talk about these beach lane levelers and how much better they are than the Anderson levelers because they are spectacular. Um, we've been really happy with them. And we have them on both sides because we had to raise this side just a little bit for our steps because of this drop off and how high the concrete is. So let's finish setting up and we'll give you a little bit of update on the campground and ask Heidi, how's the internet here? That's spectacular. <laughs> yes, it is. We'll talk about that. It's pretty hot out there today. It's a lot hotter than I, I expected. Um, started sweating. So we're inside here. I shut off the air. This is kind of discouraging. Let me show you this real quick. Oh, uh, what? Uh, we got the police over there. They're searching somebody. Heidi said she heard some yelling over there. Well, you can see uh, this is a lot. This happens a lot with the Encore Parks. Um, you have uh, Tent City over here, you know, tarps and tents. And then you have, uh, you know, a mobile home that string trimmer is not in their vocabulary um, but you know I, it, it this happens here's the thing it's not costing us anything our site is fine uh, it's relatively level but we had to because of our steps the way our steps are um, we had to raise this side a little bit and this side so we use those beach lane levelers as you saw uh, that's probably uh, something that uh, you guys probably if you haven't watched this so we had to do that west branch we had to lift everything up that's why we had the beach lane levelers um, so what do we think about the place well let me talk about it out here first or in here first and then Heidi will take you outside and show you everything outside huh. the electricity here is awesome now why would it be super awesome um, we have a 30 amp site <laughs> we did so here's the deal. Uh, as you saw, whenever we got in here, um, that person that was at that site, I think what happened, Heidi and I, Heidi will probably agree with this, is that the uh, park did not have their information updated with Thousand Trails. And when we were trying to get a 50 amp site, um, they suggested that we call Thousand Trails and when we called Thousand Trails, Thousand Trails gave the site 50 because they said, um, you know, hey, we got a 50 amp site for you, site 50, you're good. Uh, so that's what we were trying to check into when we first got in with site 50. Heidi called the front desk and said, hey, we're at site 50 and there's somebody parked there. And basically it didn't look like they were going anywhere. We showed you that, I showed you that on camera. So within just a few seconds of her telling uh, you know Heidi telling her that she put her on hold and then got back on she goes I've got your phone number let me call you back in just a second here so all of a sudden we seen a guy on a golf cart coming from the opposite direction of the office and he's got a radio up to his ear and he comes blowing in that guy's sight 
and he starts looking all over the site. He's looking in the truck, he's looking on the back of the truck, he's trying to get a license plate number. Um, but anyways, he gives somebody a bunch of information over the radio. The guy came over with the golf cart and he says, hey, he says, I'm not sure what's happening. He goes, but that guy is here for the next three days still. He's still in that site for three more days. And he says, uh, she'll give you a call. She'll be giving you a call here. I'm like, okay, great. So we sat there for maybe... 15 minutes. Was it even that long? 10 maybe. Yeah, maybe 10 minutes. And then the phone rang, Heidi's phone rang, and she says, okay, listen, we're going to get you down to another site, and it's a 30 amp site. She, now, she already knew we needed 50. Now, here's the thing. This is why I'm saying they're really fast, too. Um, I was still, we were still in the process of backing in and the same guy on that golf cart come blowing down into our site and he's back there installing a 50 amp circuit <laughs> in place of the 30 amp so we could have 50 amp here. All she asked for us is not to hook up within an hour. We, but we I mean, weren't he ready. He was way, we were still backing in, setting up leveling. Yeah, we weren't unhooked yet. We were not unhooked from the truck yet. Whenever he said, hey, he says, you want to go ahead and plug in and try this out? And, I mean, he installed a new box back there and everything. So, kudos. I mean, I, I don't even know. That that service is incredible. I, I that That's just great. I mean, they knew we wanted a 50-amp site. We had told them we needed a 50-amp site. All of our information online says we need a 50-amp site. And uh, they put us in a 30 and made it a 50 within no time at all Probably so 40 minutes. yeah it's yeah 40 minutes total and it's because our leveling like I said it was a little bit different a little bit awkward so um, once we got uh, our water we started hooking up our water and everything the water pressure you better have a pressure regulator that's all I'm saying uh, because without the pressure regulator I think it's closer to about 70 and there's some serious flow coming through there 70 pounds uh, it's it's up there so um, we have our regulator on there uh, we went ahead and put our softener and our, our, our filters and everything uh, we had to rig it up a little different because the water's actually way back behind here we have you know we're prepared we have long enough hoses and stuff but instead of putting our regulator and our dirt guard and everything back here uh, we, we hooked it up a little bit further. Um, we, we ran just a single hose up. And again, it's really nice because, you know, having the, the uh, power watchdog and the autoformer and everything inside the rig, because you could see, even though that electrical looks really scary, the box that's all open in that, that's cable or something. I, it, it's not, that is not um, electrical that at all. That's some kind of cable. Um, you can see our brand new box that our cord is plugged into, but it's nice. I mean, it's kind of back there. You know, I couldn't really secure the power watchdog back there if I wanted to, and definitely not the autoformer. So it's nice that, you know, it's inside. Another reason to have that stuff inside. All right. What else do I need to talk about? Um, we haven't tested the water quality yet. We'll do that. Oh, Internet. So the Internet. Hmm. <laughs> are you guys ready to hear the sales pitch? Are you are you ready to hear me say why you should be getting EasyCom again? Oh my word! So first, I, let's do T-Mobile. My T-Mobile is 123 down and 60 up. You want to see it? There's the speed test. 123 down, 60 up. There you see 5G T-Mobile US boom rocket awesome right so I'm thinking well you know we got good T-Mobile again if it's it wasn't like last time now the T-Mobile we had at the last place was 300 down but still very very good and I thought well hopefully AT&T is a little better than the 80 down that we had at the other place we had 80 down and uh, I can't remember I think it was 20 up I think it was something like 20 up so you can see the extent that I did right here right I put it in the window. That's all. Just stuck it up in the window. Plugged it in. Woo! There's no antenna outside or anything. Just plugged it in there. And guess what we have there? 152 down and 28 up. 
There you go. AT&T. 152 down, 28 up. Isn't that crazy? That is some serious speed. 152 down. It is awesome. That thing is so awesome. Um, again, I, I feel kind of bad when I talk about this with you, but get on the list with him if you want to go to these kind of speeds, if you need these kind of speeds. I'm going to tell you, though, that some of those plans that he have, uh, they're pretty cheap, and they're a lot, you know, the speeds are uh, still really good. They, they, for most people, that's all they need. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We haven't really checked out the area yet or the whole park, but... I, I just wanted to talk about the things we normally do. Again, water pressure's great. Uh, we haven't checked water quality yet. We're going to do that. Mm, I don't know. We, we usually like to run the water quite a bit to make sure everything's out of the filters, everything's out of the softener uh, that we may have stirred up when we drove down the road. Uh, we like to run a lot of water, uh, fill the, the black tank with you know, multiple flushes. Um, to, to get a lot of liquid in there to start with and uh, then we do the water quality test so I'll, maybe I'll talk about that later but I think that's it so the electricity is great here because we have new 50 amp um, I'm 122 and 123 I think in the, the volts and our amperage I had turned every single thing on when we first got here uh, the refrigerator the ice maker the hot water tank heating element and both rooftop airs on high and I think we were at 42 amps and it, it was just fine there, no problem there so that's it let's let Heidi walk around the campsite and show you what it looks like um, I think it's a good one we, boy we got a lot of we got a lot of distance between us and the RV that's on the campsite on this side over here not so much they have a little yard over there but on this side there's a big area I don't know what the deal is let Heidi show you all right so I'm gonna show you outside um, it's a beautiful day beautiful day just beautiful we do have a train that's on the other side of the woods here the tree line I'll show you that here in a second but um, definitely beautiful here. I'm not talking the sights. I'm just t talking in general the weather. So right across the street there um, is the train and oh, I should say right across the street right behind the tree line there is the train and I think three of them already went by but you know we live by a train not it was probably a mile but we got used to it so it's not gonna bother us at all. So this is our site and um, you know there's some despair you'll have that in every park whenever um, they just turn a blind eye I guess sometimes well, it's no different than having a job and your manager turns a blind eye on a poor worker so I'll just show you around here um, it's our water set up it kind of stinks that it's going to be out here in the sun, but we'll deal with it. It's, it's a pretty nice sight. I'll show you the, we got the new 50 amp at the bottom there. And they have little lizards all around, I don't know. They're little fast little buggers. Cute little thing. Pray bite ya. And there's our water. But, and then, you know, if you, you can tell that we have a pretty big site, not that we need all this, but, um, we'll enjoy it for sure. We'll pick it up if there's something exciting. You can hear the motorcycles out there because it's biketober. And, uh, so there is a lot of bikes in the park. I think biketober is just the weekend. Um, not totally sure, but I'm pretty sure it's just the weekend. Anyway, we'll pick it up later. The last little clip that we showed you was, uh, Heidi, uh, she had walked around and showed you our campsite, which is getting old at this point. We've been here for almost a couple weeks. <laughs> We've just been doing stuff that's been pretty mundane. However, we did go out, um, which we, I think we threw out a clip on Facebook. If you guys aren't following us on Facebook or Instagram, 
Uh, I, I say this, you know, a few times in our videos in the past. The first people to get the news about what's happening with us is our patrons. Thank you, patrons. We appreciate all of you. Uh, that helps greatly support the channel. Uh, secondly, uh, is Facebook and Instagram. We'll throw usually some little clips and some things out that we might be doing. Then lastly is usually YouTube. So if you're watching this and you're not following us on Facebook or Instagram or a patron, uh, it's kind of old news, <laughs> unfortunately. But not always, not always. But in this case, it is. So we've been at the campsite here, the campgrounds uh, in Port Orange. It's Rose Bay, uh, which is just south of Daytona. I mean, we if we got on our bikes, um, we just go up, I don't know, maybe two miles we're at Daytona. So it's, it's not very far. So they kind of call this Daytona. Uh, we did go out. Um, I'll put some clips over my voice here. Uh, we headed into basically Daytona. Uh, we bounced around a little bit. We played some video games. Uh, we went out and checked out the beach on the boardwalk, which was really nice. Um, then we uh, we did some, uh, some bowling. So let me show you just a couple very quick clips here. Our attempt at bowling. Boy, that was weird. The, the pins are on strings. I'm not used to that. And I wasn't, I didn't understand why do you put on bowling shoes if the lanes aren't prepped to allow the approaches to where you can slide? That, I didn't understand that at all. I mean, you could get hurt out there both ways. You could get hurt if you slid and you don't understand how bowling works. And you could get hurt if you know how bowling works and you don't slide, which that's was my case. I wasn't sliding. Well, it killed me. So that was fun. Um, then we, uh, we just basically ran errands. Uh, we had some Amazon stuff shipped here. We're still working with our domicile, getting it changed over. We had a lot of address changes that we needed to make. Uh, we're still in the process of doing a lot of that. Uh, we have an appointment that's uh, coming up in uh, about another week and a half uh, for us to go finish that stuff up. Uh, I went and got my hair cut at a gentleman's barber shop. Uh, he actually took the straight razor and went all around my neck and ears. I haven't had that done in a long time. And Heidi got her hair fancied up um, at a place here in Daytona. And what else did we do? Oh, um, we had gone back out again, which I'll show you a couple of clips uh, that we posted on Facebook, I think it was, and some other ones that we haven't posted yet but kind of show you what it looks like. So we decided to uh, hang out at Holiday Inn. I suggest that you, if you guys want to vacation occasionally, try to get with a hotel chain that will give you benefits because we have like a free stay coming up. But nonetheless, this is a uh, Holiday Inn Express. And look at the swimming pool. You want to go swimming? Nice, look at that blue. I know a lot of you are saying, that ain't RVing. Well, it is for us. Look at that beautiful moonlight across the ocean. I hear a band. I think that's over at Hard Rock Cafe. Maybe we'll go over there a little later. Uh, it's only 9 o'clock. We did walk like whew, a, mile. a mile, which I'm pretty tired. But what a beautiful, beautiful view. Look at that. People down on the beach with their flashlight. So, we just experienced um, Biketoberfest, which is registered with the city of Port Orange in Daytona. It is not registered. No, Biketoberfest oh, was. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. But unfortunately, yeah. now all of a sudden they made up what? Trucktoberfest. Truck Trucktoberfest, which is not legit. <laughs> and they just put it on Facebook, and now the police have to spend hundred thousand dollars in overtime yeah. I bring all their cars out we literally saw a cop pulling over a truck for squeaky brakes they're gonna pull them over for everything I think that's awesome double the fines double the fines I don't know if they got that approved or not but they were talking about doubling the fines so we're going to uh, crash for the night there's Joe's Crab Shack way down there if you guys 
That's where we, we started. Yeah, that's where we started. Way down there. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Look at that. Wow, that was way down there. And now, this is where we're at. Okay, so they have this unsanctioned event called Trucktoberfest. And I have no idea who decided that squat was a thing. But it's basically where, you guys know, when you hook up your RV and your truck drops too far in the ass end, that's called squat. Guess what? They're actually setting up their trucks for that when they drive down the road. They're setting up for squat. The cool thing is to have squat and LED lights, which is ridiculous. I, I cannot believe that they want to drive down the streets down here with their wheels and tires all lit up, first of all, and their back ends have squat. Look, look at this. Oh, he's level. But the first the first one wasn't. But the second one was level. Yeah, look. There's look, one. there goes one going down the street. Oh, that guy's mm, no, not really. That's a that's a thing down here though, which I'm shocked and I ain't gonna say amazed because there's nothing amazing about it. Yeah, they want to have squat. Look, look at this guy going this way. In the inside lane to your left. Oh my word. Some of the guys are level, but a lot of them have squat. They're all about squat. Um, it's October 22nd. Yep. And what's the temperature you think? Oh, I'll check for you because it's super nice out. It is so delightful out here. It's got to be close to 80 uh, where I want to gather. Uh, oh, my God. Well, yeah. It's more pleasant than I thought. It's 73. Look at this squat. Do you see that? Look at Look, 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 look. Look at <laughs> squat. Look, look at it. Look at all these trucks squatting, guys. It's hilarious. I, I love the SUVs. Oh, my word. I think everybody's caught up now. Is that about right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the place? The park's pretty nice. So there's a train that goes through. We mentioned it. Sometimes we hear it. Yeah. Sometimes we don't. Yeah. Sometimes it's really fast and actually will move the trailer a little bit. <laughs> Uh, a lot of times, though, I, we don't pay attention to it. Occasionally, hear helicopters fl flying over. Um, still, you know, people in the park and motorcycles, you still hear that in the morning. This park is well lived in. Let's just oh, say yeah. that. There, there are a lot of people that are living in this park, but there's still RV sites. I mean, this is an Encore park, and the best part about it is it's free for us. You know, we're not paying anything. These guys are not only paying for their sites, they're paying for their electric. Uh, we're not paying for either. So some of these trailers, like right across here, this one here, was delivered by a company. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing. But you can see a lot of these places emptied out. But we do have the people right across from the street from us in this south wind. They work. So they're always gone in the morning. He fires up his truck about 7.30 because it's got a little rumble to it. Check out this old body style dually down here. So you're gonna get a mix here. You, I mean, you've got like this. Who obviously these are campers, and then you have people like this in the corner that are obviously uh, full timers now. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> not full time, permanent residents. But you can see down there, there's water. There's water all around here. All this is water. Right. Yeah, this but is a nice site. One thing I will say about this park is the sites are not small. Um, most of them are not, they're good size. Most of them most aren't of them, small yeah. as we come around to a small <laughs> one. <laughs> well, the ones up against the water are the smallest sites. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because she said we wouldn't fit into the one that was available. Right. This is kind of the main road that you would come down to get to the back. Oh, somebody's down here fishing. Good. We'll find out if they're actually catching anything. There's a lot of permanent residents on this stretch of the road. 
and I'd have to say these are kind of this is where it's a little bit on the nicer side they're older but this is nice all the way back a little bit further and uh, around the cul-de-sac in the back I guess you could say or the loop it's another loop I don't remember what the code is neither do I but you can see here's the fishing across the street and then there's fishing down around that loop also which is really cool all right in the laundry room man. Waiting to wash, so there won't be any washers. Oh, we can go to the other one, I guess. All right, so the good news about this place is there is two laundromats. We'll have to head up the way, but boy, the rain. Mm -mm -mm. Can't tell if it's going. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to rain real hard and then it's going to stop. So we're going to head back up. The roads that we just came so we were here whenever these cans were heaping for sure it's kind of got a goofy thing you got to do to get in face mask required uh, I don't think face mask been required much at all here anywhere Ooh, there's all the dryer vents going all right so Heidi setting up her phone we have yet another app from a different company that we need to uh, set up to run the washers uh, and obviously the dryers which we got some clothes there but we'll try to show you what it looks like in here uh, the women's on that side the men's on this side it's kind of cool that they are opposite of each other oh yeah okay so bathroom stalls and shower stalls and these are what you can pretty much count on with most of these parks. Oh, wow, they're okay. They're clean. Yeah, it's clean. It's... Ooh, this isn't bad at all. A little, little on the dark side, but these, these are okay. Yeah. So, there's another shower house, which we just came from. Um, but this isn't bad. Oh, this ain't too far. If you want a long, hot shower, this is a place to come up and do it, I guess. It smells very clean in here. Oh, there's some more lights. Ah, <laughs> I should have turned those on, I guess, before we did all that, huh? <laughs> all right, so we were going to step outside here and cool off. However, it's Florida out. And the reason I don't say it's Ohio out is because this won't be here very long that's why it'll Unless be it's cold in Ohio <laughs> yeah right yeah we're 81 today I think 81 the high today getting it on my footsies getting it splashing on my legs but nice rain. yeah it's a nice rain all right so the rain stopped got the puddles I remember when I was a kid living in Florida, um, we used to get to go play in the gutters after the rain stopped. I'm going over here because that car's coming this down here anyways. So basically all this water should pretty much disappear in a short amount of time. Another car hike. But this is the main drag obviously. You see all the people going in and out. And again, you got a mix. Uh, I don't see a lot of new. This is probably one of the newer ones right here. And I'm thinking that's from the early 2000s, maybe. There's, I think there's a couple of newer ones in the back. Ah. If I remember correctly. Oh, he hung his stuff out and it didn't get dry. He got wet. But yeah, look at, look at this. This is kind of cool. Oh, they decided to just say, screw it, that tongue we're never ever towing again. <laughs> Maybe it fell off. Yeah, this is a real well kept older one here. It's nice. Got good parking. 
same here these guys got the parking they're always out when we ride by on the bikes so talking about riding the bikes we did get rid of our scooter my scooter still have Heidi's scooter because it's I don't know it's kind of like a little bullet uh, bulletproof I should say <laughs> um, but our bikes we we've been riding those instead which work out just fine see the swimming pool here nice oh I don't even have listen yeah and then out here by the road are probably about uh, Five sites. I don't think there's any sewer hookup, but there's sites out there, which is kind of funny. And then this lake that's out front, which I'm sure wraps around. And then this is the office. This is where you check in. This is where Heidi checks in. You can see the the pond that's out here. I wonder if there's any fish in there. What do you think? Uh, Salt City dogs. Ooh, where's that at? Oh, they're coming out here. What's the date today? Oh, they're not coming until October 30th. They were here when we were here the first day. Yeah. This is there's the a second in here. It's probably the same number, I would assume. Yeah. It says this, this second laundry bathhouse and dumpsters will be closed. Do not remove the caution tape. This is nice. Ooh. And get a pop up here i didn't know that but they have a little room right this is cool actually it's literally cool to tell you the truth no sitting or leaning on the table they got darts which i don't see a line Download the app. Camp Florida. Hmm. Oh, that's different. Maybe we should try that. Enhance your stay by having activities, services, dining, and attractions at your fingertips. Nice. Yeah. Shower house. Shower house. Cool. All right. This Beautiful. Nice. nice. Very cool in here. But then again, it's very hot outside. Lucky.